then it's not going to work because whenever the variable changes in value, then all of the clones are going to have the same value for that variable. So we want the clones to have separate values for the digits variable. So select for this part only, and then click OK. All right. By the way, if your variable doesn't show up immediately after you created it, then you can just refresh the page, and it should show up. But anyways, um, let's grab a set digits to block, and let's set the digits to 1, and let's drag this after the hide. Now uh, let's go to control, grab a repeat uh, loop, and then let's grab a create clone of myself, and then go to variables, and let's grab a change digits by 1. And this just creates 10 clones, each with a different value of the digits. So anyways, now we want the clones to do stuff, right? So let's go to events, actually a control, sorry. And then let's drag a when I start as a clone. Then we want the clone to show this. Um, what this does is that, oops, okay, I need to show the clones for now. So, yep. All right, so if I run this, then what this does is that it creates 10 clones, and they are all spaced apart by 10 pixels. And this is because each clone has a different digits value. Because when I first set digits to 1 and then created a clone, the clone I created the first time had the digits value set to 1. But then since I changed digits by 1, the next clone I created has the value of digits to 2 now. And if I change it again and then create another clone, then the third clone I created has the value of digits to 3. So that's how it works. Um, each clone I create has a different value of digits. But yeah, um, anyways, now we want the clones to show or hide based on the score. So let's say right now the score is 2, then we only want the uh, ones place clone to show, or uh, this one, and then we want all of the other ones to hide. So to do that, let's grab an if-else statement in the control, drag that in the forever loop, and then we want to check um, if the length of the score is less than its own variable of digits. So let's grab a lesser than operator, and then let's grab a uh, length of, and let's go to variables, and then drag the score variable inside of the length of, drag this into the left side, and check if the length of score is less than digits. So if it is, that means we don't need that number, and then we just hide it. Otherwise, we want it to show. So now, as you can see, um, since the score was 2, now only one of the digits show. So let's say the score was maybe uh, like 270. Now uh, three of them show. So yeah, now we want these clones to show the correct number. So um, to do that, let's go to looks. And we want them to uh, switch costume based on their uh, digit in the score. So to do that, let's go to operators grab the letter operator, or uh, actually letter 1 of Apple, and then let's replace the 1 with digits, and then Apple with score. Now let's drag this inside of the uh, switch costume to, then let's drag this under the show. So based on their own digits, uh, 1, 2, and 3, they're going to show the letter of the score, so 1, 2, and 3. So yeah, as you can see, this shows the correct score. Now let's reposition this to the top. So um, just change this Y value to maybe uh, 150, mm, maybe 155, and I think that's fine. And now we can hide the score variable. Now um, I think I'm going to want my score to be in the middle, but however, there is a problem. So since the score is in the middle, when the length of the score increases, I still want my score to stay in the middle. So right now, it's not going to work. Um, let's say I set the score to um, a really high number. Let's say like this. And this score has a 
one, two, three, four, seven digits. So I'll set it, and as you can see, this number is not in the middle because it's still in the same X position. So um, I want to fix that so that this number is in the middle no matter how many digits the score is. So to do that, uh, let's grab a length of score. So length of, and then score. And we want this to move back based on the length of the score, right? So um, now let's go to operators, grab a multiplication operator, drag this on the left side, and make sure to multiply this by the same number you multiplied the digits by. So in my case, it would be 10. And now we want to subtract this from the original 